In October 2019, Scientific American magazine published a paper by Gilbert Levin in which the former NASA scientist controversially claimed that the American Space Agency did indeed find life on Mars in the 1970s, but that the evidence was ignored by NASA leadership. According to Levin, analysis of samples taken by the Viking landers in 1976 seemed to indicate the presence of life on the Martian surface. As the experiment progressed, said Levin, a total of four positive results, supported by five varied controls, streamed down from the twin Viking spacecraft landed some 4,000 miles apart. The data curve signaled the detection of microbial respiration on the Red Planet. But officially at least, NASA's Viking experiments failed to find organic matter, the physical stuff of life itself. This gave NASA a convenient loophole through which to conclude that results came from a substance that was mimicking life, but was not actually life itself. Still, in his recent paper, Levin is insistent that the data sent back by the Viking missions in 1976 was proof of microbial life on Mars. Now, a far more startling claim is being made by a renowned entomologist at Ohio University. Emeritus professor William Ramosa has spent the past several years examining a number of photographs publicly available from various Mars rovers and found a number of what he describes as insect-like forms, structured similarly to bees as well as reptile-like forms. In a November 2019 press release, Professor Ramosa stated unequivocally, there has been and still is life on Mars. Ramosa, who shared his research at the annual Entomological Society of America meeting, said that he examined Mars photos for signs of body symmetry, body part segmentation, repeating form, skeletal remains, and other clues that could be considered signs of life. Once a clear image of a given form was identified and described, it was useful in facilitating recognition of other, less clear, but nonetheless valid images of the same basic form. An exoskeleton and jointed appendages are sufficient to establish identification as an arthropod. The professor further stated, three body regions, a single pair of antennae, and six legs are traditionally sufficient to establish identification as insect on Earth. These characteristics should likewise be valid to identify an organism on Mars as insect-like. Ramosa noted that a distinct flight behavior was evident in many images, with the creatures spotted loosely resembling bumble or carpenter bees. He said that other images show the bees appearing to live in caves, while other images show a fossilized creature that resembles a snake. Professor Ramosa acknowledges that interpretations of the images may yet change, but he says that the amount of evidence he has thus far uncovered is compelling. The presence of higher metazoan organisms on Mars implies the presence of nutrient, energy sources and processes, food chains and webs, and water as elements functioning in a viable, if extreme, ecological setting sufficient to sustain life. Ramosa also claims to have found evidence of water in some of the images. The evidence of life on Mars presented here provides a strong basis for many additional important biological as well as social and political questions, says Ramosa. It also represents a solid justification for further study. Various news organizations have reached out to NASA for comment on Ramosa's claims, but the space agency has yet to respond. Of course, this isn't the first time people have claimed to have found photographic evidence for biological life on Mars. Back in 2008, this photo, captured by NASA's Spirit robot, nearly broke the internet when people claimed it showed a Bigfoot on the surface of the Red Planet. At first glance, the image does appear to show a figure vaguely resembling the legendary cryptid. Upon closer examination, however, the figure was shown to be nothing more than a rock formation, and a very small one at that, measuring just a few inches in height. More convincing photographic evidence of Martian life has been captured by NASA's Curiosity rover, 
According to a study in 2019 by researchers in the Department of Microbiology at the School of Life Sciences in India, the images in question reveal the presence of mushrooms. Dr. Regina Das, co-author of the study, said, There are no geological or other abiogenic forces on Earth which can produce sedimentary structures by the hundreds which have mushroom shapes, stems, stalks, and shed what looks like spores on the surrounding surface. In fact, 15 specimens were photographed by NASA growing out of the ground in just three days. NASA has yet to comment on the controversial study. It may not only be mushrooms that are thriving on Mars. A Hungarian research team has gone so far as to suggest the existence of trees on the red planet, a suggestion based on detailed analysis of certain NASA photos of the Martian surface. According to the Hungarian scientists, the black dots seen in the images are living organisms. The research team noted that each spring, grey fuzzy spots appear in the bottom of the ice cover. By the middle of the first half of spring, these spots become darker, are bounded and grow in size. By early summer, defrosting, the naked dark soil of the dune is visible and surrounded by a lighter ring. Year after year, the dark dune spots renew on the same place with almost the same configuration or constellation of patches. This repeat action, the team asserts, strengthens their suggestion of fixed biological causes of spot formation. And this, say the scientists, strongly suggests the life cycle of some kind of plant life. Clark also noted that these forms appear to change with the seasons, growing with the warmth and increased sunlight of Mars spring season, just as vegetation would. However, NASA, dismissive as ever, has explained these shapes as being the result of some kind of freezing, defrosting phenomenon, or as part of what it terms the bizarre geology of Mars. Yet more photographic evidence of Martian life came in June of 2019, when NASA's Curiosity rover snapped a photograph of the Martian landscape that shows a bright white light in the distance, clearly visible against the Martian dunes. The photograph in question was taken by one of Curiosity's NAVCAMs, two black and white cameras which NASA scientists used to map the Martian terrain. The photo was just one in a series of consecutive images captured by the rover, but it's only in this particular image that the mysterious light appears. In an almost identical picture of the same vista, taken just 13 seconds later, the light is nowhere to be seen meaning that, whatever it was, it appeared only briefly. NASA attempted to explain the anomaly by attributing it somewhat ambiguously to cosmic rays. Despite a growing number of intriguing pictures of life signs on the Martian surface, conclusive photographic proof remains elusive. But in light of current thinking about the red planet, it is entirely reasonable to expect the discovery of some form of life there in the very near future microbial at the very least, but potentially more complex biology also, including insect life, as has been asserted by Professor Ramosa at Ohio University. Indeed, NASA Chief Scientist Dr. James Green stated recently that there is a strong possibility that life will be found on Mars within just two years. Dr. Green said that the Mars 2020 rover will drill deeper into the Martian crust than any previous rover. This mission, coupled with the European Space Agency's ExoMars rover, will, says Dr. Green, likely be the first robotic craft to find life on Mars. The discovery of life on Mars now seems closer than ever. Whenever this historic announcement is made, it will surely mark the beginning of a shift in global consciousness, as humanity will be forced to accept the official reality we are not alone in the universe. If life is discovered on Mars, even if it's only a microbial form, then the laws of evolution dictate that extraterrestrial intelligence far in advance of our own probably exist elsewhere in our universe. This, of course, has serious philosophical and religious implications here on Earth. It also has implications in relation to the UFO issue. In a world where the question of alien life has always been just that, a question, 
it has been easy for official culture to dismiss the notion of extraterrestrial visitation. In the world of our not-too-distant future, a world in which the ultimate question has been affirmatively answered, the notion that advanced alien civilizations may already be visiting us is suddenly far harder to dismiss, and even the skeptics may find themselves paying a closer attention to the massive body of UFO evidence gathered over the past seven decades. Evidence which paints a far more dramatic picture than any images yet released by NASA of the Red Planet.